Yo, what's the word? It's your boy Nick Bags. I'm with Lo from the Go, and this is the Check It Out Show. We want to thank everybody, all of our supporters, for uh, viewing what we do every week. And we're going to be here talking about some of the hottest topics that's going on in the rap game and the entertainment industry. What's going on, Lo? Hey, man, I'm just chilling. I want everybody to check this out, man. We got a whole lot of stuff that we're going to be talking about today, Nick Bags. You know, it's been a very exciting week in the internet world, and everybody seems to like our opinion all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but it's all good with me. You can flip-flop. You can come over to the team. It don't matter, man. As long as y'all come here, check it out. Make sure you leave your comments, likes, dislikes, all of that shit count. So go ahead and hit those buttons. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all might as well tap in. It's always a treat when players meet, you know, so come on and join the team, man. Our first topic is going to be about none other than the infamous Kanye West. He just had a court order where he is forced to pay $200,000 every month to his wife, his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, uh, in child support, man, to take care of his kids. What do you think about that, Lo? I think that's unfair treatment, man. I think that's unfair treatment for the average everyday working class person. Per capita, <laughs> if you look at it, yeah, I'm being serious. Per capita, if you look at it, Kanye West got four kids, man. You mean to tell me what he's only he's only paying a couple thousand dollars a month for each child? Hell no, nah, man. He's supposed to be paying a million dollars a month or more, man. What do you think about that, Nick Bex? Man. Hey, man, that's so much money. I can't even fathom that. I'm getting mad just thinking about that. 200000 a month? That's a big lump sum of money. But he do got a lot of kids, though, you know. So when you think about it, you know, the pay they rent, the type of lifestyle that they live in, I guess, man, you got to pay how you weigh. And look, man, they always say that it's cheaper to keep a low. Yeah, man, I can guarantee you this, Nick Bax. This is why we disagree with it, because I can guarantee you that Kanye West is spending 200000 on vehicles that he's not driving, bro, that he's not driving, that he just got sitting at the garage. He probably paid 200000 a month just on maintenance for those vehicles, man. You got to use them or you lose them. You know what I'm saying? So when you tell me that he's only paying 200000 a month and he's supposed to be a billionaire, that just don't add up. That's just like some shit for the average Joe especially with four kids, man. But you're right, though, in a way. 200000 a month, that's more than most people are paying. I think Future is only paying his baby mama like 6000 a month, some shit like that. Considering with him losing so much money recently, you know, he lost so many deals and, you know, he got a lot going on. But, you know, considering, I'm sure that the judges and the lawyers, they broke down all of the uh, expenses. Now, people that live this rich lifestyle and Calabasas and all this stuff, that's a, a expensive lifestyle. And if those kids been living like that for all this time, then I guess the judge determined that that was fair for them to continue to live this same type of lifestyle, whether they in the two parent home or they going back and forth between parents. All right, you know what, Nick Beggs? You just made me change my mind, man. That's too goddamn much money to be giving somebody for a month in child. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a whole lot, man. I just thought about it. Kanye West did lose a lot of deals, and I wouldn't be surprised if Kanye West didn't do that shit on purpose now that you mentioned it. It's been uh, a lot of talk about Kanye and his motives. Uh, you know, I, you know, me being a, a fan of Kanye, I try to get him the benefit of the doubt. I hope he don't, uh, you know, have, move with malice. You know, uh, I hope that he, I, I'll try to take him to his word that he want to make uh, clothing and stuff affordable for all people. You know, uh, he want to take the power away from the uh, the one percent of uh, extremely rich and extremely wealthy people that. Uh, run this world. Uh, I'm with Kanye on that, and it seems like it's been an attack at all fronts to uh defund Kanye. That's what's going on, man. They defunding that brother, man. When you put it like that, it all starts to make sense because 
Now they're taking 200000 a month from this man just to raise his kids, which he's co-parenting. He's already spending a gang of money. And I'm pretty sure Kim Kardashian don't need the cash, man. So when a black woman look at this situation and she think about it and she say, and she compare Kanye West to Future and what Future is paying his baby mothers and what Kanye West is paying his baby mom, his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, a lot of black sisters are going to get upset about this situation right here. A lot of black sisters ain't going to feel this situation because it's unfair to a black man to be paying that much money. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's a lot of black men that don't even pay a, a, a fraction of $200,000, man, and they call themselves rich. See, that's the thing right there. When you get into that billionaire status, they expect you to keep that status. They don't expect you to lose that status. And it goes back to me saying this. Did Kanye West lose all his deals because he knew he was coming into a crazy-ass divorce? Now, that might sound crazy and far-fetched to the average person, but to somebody like Kanye West, who's a fucking genius, man, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't do that just to make a better deal and a bigger deal after he got the judgment against him. That is true. And even you got to even consider people like uh, Jeff Bezos. When he got divorced from his wife, she left with half. Mackenzie Scott, she been giving money all over the world. So I guess that's the type of risk that you take when you choose to get married and you got billions of dollars, man, you know. You might get in a position to where you have to pay somebody for a, a substantial part of your life, a lo big lump sums of money. Yeah, and the thing is, when you do look at that Jeff Bezos situation, she was there from the beginning, but I don't think they have as many kids as Cam and Kanye. So why does she get half and Cam only gets a fraction? You know, make it make sense. It's a sticky situation, and uh. I, I, I guess sometimes we have to trust the judge, you know, when we put these people, uh, a lot of times the judges are elected into these positions, you know, we got to trust them to do their job, you know, so I'm sure they had all of the information they needed to make this uh, uh, determination, but uh, you pointed out a very uh, important aspect to this is that Kanye might have planned this so he could avoid having to pay as much as Bezos paid by losing the money. You know, that's what dudes, that's a hood game. You know, you get uh, your girl, baby mama put you on child support, so you go on ahead and get fired. Make them fire you. <laughs> Shout out to the homeboy, Kanye West, 